Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Blackcraft. Yeah, we actually changed our server name to Otium now instead of Blackcraft, so welcome to another episode of Otium. Today we're starting off the episode at the main storage here, because I just need to pick up some rockets. I'll grab a couple shulkers of rockets here, and actually now I noticed that I should grab some food over here as well. Uh-huh, there we go. And while I'm here, I might as well pick up some loose rockets. So my stack doesn't run out and I need to start using these ones instantly. And now, I'm going to go to the nether, to our new nether permit area. Where we are preparing a 3000 long strip for to fit the helix in. So we need to remove bedrock in a 3000 by 36 wide area. We need to remove all five layers of bedrock in that area so that we can fit a helix to remove even more bedrock. So now I just used our pearl cannon to get over to this area where we also have our return cannon here to get us all the 10,000 blocks back home instantly. So here is the machine we used to drop the dragon eggs first of all. So this machine was uh, designed by XWire on the Hecata server. So this will just drop the eggs and keep going, remove the blocks, pull them down and back and at the end it will stop and then you can launch it back and rerun it and it will push the blocks back up and just place the dragon eggs again. It's really simple and easy to use if you built it correctly, which we did not do the first three times. And it broke and we had to rebuild it three times. But anyways, here you see the big big strip of bedrock we need to remove. We've already removed two layers of the bedrock, I did that on stream yesterday. So we have three layers left, which I want to do now. So I'm going to keep placing lots of dragon eggs on top of the nether rack here. And I'll see you when that's done. Now I have placed every single dragon egg in this entire thing. Well, almost every single. There's a couple holes I need to fix still, I believe. But now, I've also built up some small sweeper flying machines on the top here that I will need to launch. Alright, there we go. Now, these should be sweeping everything down here. Oh, that was the wrong buttons again. And I also have a bot there so that these things are loaded the entire way. So now, all I gotta do is grab a stack of dragon eggs and I gotta go and fill in every single hole that might be missing. Okay, so all the holes are fixed now. Now we just gotta wait for the sweepers to arrive all the way over here. And then we can uh, start launching the machine that drops all the dragon eggs onto the bedrock. Now we are ready, I hope. It looks fine, so we're gonna start it now. Right, looks like it's working. We can go into free cam over here, because then we won't load the chunks. I think it's working, we just need to reload chunks. Hold on, let's go into spectator. Spectate egg dropper and then free cam, because then we will move at the correct speed and load the chunks on the client side. Alright, it is working, look at this. Beautiful. It's removing all the bedrock and the netherrack that it needs to remove. Alright, so this is now gonna run for about an hour to get to the other end. And I'll get back to you then. So, the machine reached the end over here, but I actually forgot to record it. And But I did send it back, but unfortunately, uh, and this slime here sticks to the netherrack and makes the entire thing break. Well, not the entire thing, just the engine to push forward. We can go ahead and remove this and rebuild it when the entire machine arrives at the starting location again. But other than that, this is all fine, because as you can see over here, the netherrack is all being pushed back up, and all the dragon eggs have been dropped, and there's one less layer of bedrock. Alright, so now the machine is back here, and I did rebuild the part that broke, which was just this engine that pushes it forwards, and it was super easy. I just built this up here, and it was done. So now we just need to place all of these. Uh, I think 90,000 eggs again, and we can launch it again, 
and then one more time because we only got two layers of bedrock left and we're done so this is about a day later and while i was sleeping actually some other members of the server went ahead and did the last two layers by themselves here so all the bedrock in this entire 3000 block long strip is gone now and what i'm thinking now is we can start building the helix here down there and up 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 but first we gotta remove this platform of netherrack and obviously we don't want to mine this the entire way so you might see the tnt in my inventory and i also have slime on observers and pistons and some other things here that i will need so i'm going to make tnt dupers because all the way over there just blows up the entire netherrack platform all the time and i'm looking at how far apart and should have the tnt so one explosion is that big then I might want to have another TNT here, maybe. Let's mark them. Like this, that far? No, a bit closer. There, maybe. So I want to have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks between every deeper. I want to have the first deeper here. That should be good. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I just have the last one here. Just like that. So that's where all the TNT should be. And we, I'll just build up the drop, uh, not the droppers, the TNT deepers right up here. So they will go all the way there. And hopefully not blow themselves up by the TNT landing way too low or way too high and bouncing up and all that so i'll build up the deepers and i'll see you in a second all right then we're back and i also just realized before starting this recording that last clip i accidentally recorded in the wrong resolution so you'll have to survive for that one minute or whatever it was where it was a really weird resolution because my monitor is actually an ultra wide monitor and uh, I need to change the resolution when recording so it doesn't all become ultra wide. So that will look kind of weird unless I somehow change it. But it's just for one clip, hopefully. But anyways, as you see here, the TNT duppers are all built up and I've just placed the minecarts. So now I just gotta go and activate all these observers. Alright, there we go. Wait, what? What happened there? Is it broken? Um, what? Why is this not working? Um, okay, let's try again. There we go, perfect. Well, here we go. Now this should all be fine. Let's get down here and check. Oh, oops. Right here like this. Maybe we should have had them a little bit higher up. But oh well, this will be fine. Looks like, like we will get most of the netherrack, not all of it though, but that's good enough, I believe. And we really should have had this a bit higher up. It's gonna be annoying to build this now. In the beginning at least. Oh well. Not a big deal. We are getting almost every block. I just gotta stray behind here a little bit and clean up after the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will get back to you when we are... Actually, no. When I've done this, I'm going to have to make our dragon egg deeper a little bit faster. Because the current one is only one deeper, which is really slow, and we need about 50 million dragon eggs for this. So we're going to need a little bit of a faster deeper. So I'll be back in a second while we're doing that. Here we are in the creative server now, actually. 
because for the next part I want to make our current dragon egg duper double deep the eggs. So the eggs deep in the first end portal from the overworld into the end and then we'll take the eggs from the end into the overworld portal here. But under this block where they will go down there is one piece of, uh, well there will be one piece of a cobblestone wall here. And when the dragon eggs fall down here onto the concrete wall, I mean cobblestone wall, they dupe twice. Because they will break and they won't break. So both the broken and unbroken parts will go to the overworld. So we doubled output basically. But for this we need to destroy the bedrock that is under this uh, portal block. And obviously we can't do that with a dragon egg. So for that we have to use headless pistons as you see here. One headless piston here and one headless piston here. And somehow this will remove this block here. So I come up with this thing. Well, I only kind of modified a thing by Myron Erio. Uh, but yeah. Because he's destroyed up and down, but this one have to destroy side. But it is really simple to modify the thing he showed. But this will work, so I'll destroy this portal block so we can see. Now the one thing that is kind of annoying about this setup I made here. Is that we have to remove this portal block here and the bedrock here. It's because we need to get a block the sticky piston here can pull. You'll see what I mean once I click this lever here. So you will see this just gets pulled in here. Nothing much else happens. So I click this lever. You see? It's really cool. And then we can just replace this bedrock. And then we remove that and put that cobblestone wall here instead. Oops. Like that. And the portal block will still be above all of these blocks here and we can just replace this bedrock as well because we do have the bedrock item so this will be really easy i've actually already done this on the survival but i didn't record it so i just wanted to show it off in a creative here now before anyone comments i have realized after all of that that you don't have to remove the bedrock behind here you can just use a normal piston here instead just like this and it just goes away just as easy well, it's too late to do this in the survival, but I will know for the future now. Here we are in the end now, on the survival server. And as you see, I've already done everything here. So this fence is where the dragon eggs are gliding. Through all that, they get bounced up and whatever here. Then they glide here, down into the bedrock here. And the hole that it's created here, I replaced the entire hole with bedrock here. Because we need a block here to drop the, I mean, to block the dragon eggs anyway, so they fall straight down on that block. That has this cobblestone fence under it. So, it's already done here, and on the overworld side, I can show you how it looks. So what happens is, they go through this hole here, because this is the exact like, spot where they spawn. So all the way straight down here. So they spawn down here actually, but I need to remove all the blocks above so that they spawn at the highest block. And then they spawn on here and they break on soul sand because it's not a full block. And just glide along here for a while. Once they're here, they get pushed in here. And when I activate everything, there is a. Oh, that's the wrong kind of block. There we go. When I activate everything, there is this uh, line of slime blocks and the uh, redstone block that activates this clock here, which activates a. Uh, item elevator here as you can see it just pushes up like this it's very primitive but it works and here we are here's lots of chests of dragon eggs and that's a mistake those are not supposed to be there there was an accident we had when we didn't have enough shulkers in the shulker fillers here we go and each lamp here represents 305,000 dragon eggs. So 305,000, 610, 915, 1 1.2 million ish. Yeah, so about a million and a half per row. So that's 3 million here, 3 million, and like 4.5 million. We have about 6 million in total right now then. So we're gonna need a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on up here, and we should see eggs coming in any second. Why is this on it says? 
I think the lamp was just broken. Right, we can go to the spectator here. Or we can go down here and we'll see when the dragon is start coming in. Oh uh, no, actually, now that I remember, we need to go to the end for that because I never activated the pusher thing that pushes all the eggs into the end portal again. There we go. Why are we not see? Oh yeah, I remember. We're actually far away now, because I realized that uh, we need to go and reload our perma loader, because we don't have a switch for that, and we restarted the server earlier today because it was acting weird. So we need to go all the way over here just to start loading the perma loader. And if we don't have that loaded, the dragon egg dupers they break instantly. Uh, it's this way, I believe. can check here if it works there we go it works now we can fly back and get home and it should be safe by going just straight through the portal here we should be back in the end right there all right uh, okay we don't want to activate this just yet because we need to reactivate the dragon egg deepers now all right now we're back here again uh, let's flick this, let's head down here, let's head down here, let's go into spectator from here, and, eh, oh, never mind, I forgot to activate the thing in end again. Now, any second now, the eggs are hopefully going through. Oh, there we go, beautiful. Finally, it's working. As you can see, they're all going along the ice line here. Straight up here, the item elevator. And we are back here now. It is actually two months later now, and the Dragon Egg Deeper has run for a long time, and we have about 100 million Dragon Eggs now. So we are here in the nether again at the helix location and as you can see almost entire helix has been built up while I haven't been recording at all pretty much. So the server members has been building very much here and the entire main machine is built and we just need to build these uh, ice lines and redstone lines here in the little towers. I enabled schematic you can see, never mind you cannot because I don't have it loaded. Yeah, well that's a mistake. Well anyways, as you can see here, all of these sandstone lines, they need to have redstone and repeaters on them. And those towers also need to be at every little intersection here. So right here, one needs to be, one needs to be here, one there, there, and yeah. That needs to be all the way over here for 3000 blocks. So this, what we're working on right now, is going to take a long time and we're feeling very burnt out on this project right now. So we are doing a couple other things at the moment. One of the current projects we're working on is our new main storage. And here you can see it's uh, basically the entire main storage. Well, not really the entire thing, but the premise of it, I guess. So this will be how the hallways of storage looks. And each chest here will have different items in them. And they have one extra double chest behind. So these two are all one item, those two, those two, and those two. And same, exact same on this side. So it's a really good main storage, almost every single hopper is locked, only one unlocked hopper per item, so four per slice. Even uh, these hoppers should be locked, like this, unless it's sorting. Um, and here we have the bulk storage, where we will sort uh, and store all our bulk items, like stone, cobblestone and farm output, I guess. And yes, another slice of this. and. This way we will probably have something else as well. Now down here is a little thing we've been thinking about having. So as you see there is a end portal here, not a frame. I was almost about to say it's a frame but it is just a portal. So currently there is uh, things going on that might uh, make it possible to obtain the end portal frame in survival Minecraft. So 
we are hoping that will be possible soon and when it is possible we will do this here and when you press one button here you will get sent to the nether to that side and I guess if this side you get sent to the end yeah there's the yeah you can see the nether portal here and end portal here so if you do that that would be really cool you can stand here press this button oh and i'm going to the end now just like that So that is one of the main things we're doing right now so we want to make a perimeter and everything for that here is the location where we want to make the perimeter so here you see the schematic so a little bit bigger than this is probably how big it will be just extend it to one or two chunks either way or both ways two there two there two there and two there and the main storage should still be in the middle right here where our current temp main storage is just so that we don't have to move everything because our nether hub and everything is centered right on here so our nether hub portal takes us to either one of these portals and these also link to the nether hub portals and it would be very annoying to have to change all that so that's why we're doing it here and we need to make a perimeter here to make sure we get as little lag as possible but unfortunately there's a big big ocean here which is going to suck because I remember last time I made a perimeter in an ocean with a world leader uh, yeah that was for the garden farm and that was really annoying to place all the sand needed to make these trenches here so we're gonna have to do that again but that it will probably have to be reserved for next episode or a future episode probably not the next one. Oh, and i almost forgot we have finished our spawn building here i don't know if i showed this but hey we have finished our spawn building it is really good looking and yeah it's really cool i guess i showed it a little bit when i showed the dragon eggs earlier but this is it it uh, has been in our creative server for over a year and we have finally built it on the survival all we had to do was to sign a new floor and it's done now we just need to finish the mob switch here to fill up the entire wall and i can spot a hole in the wall here ah that goes for this line over here okay well, now I've showed this, and I can actually go ahead and end the episode here. So next episode, we will probably be working a bit more on the helix, or showing off the helix while it's running, if we have come that far. Uh, and thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to check out my Twitch, where I will stream still, even if I don't upload on YouTube, if you want to see more progress on the server. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye! We also have a Discord server you can join. Here's a link. I'll also put it in the description. I'm sorry for the audio quality of my mic being very weird throughout the episode. It's just been going up and down all over the place because I've been changing my mic setup a lot and I've been moving a lot and I have no idea what's going on. But it's going to be good from now on, I hope, hopefully.